Glenn Greenwald co-founded The Intercept, and he joins us tonight. Glenn, is that, do you think, can we say now conclusively that the Russian collusion narrative is true in the wake of this indictment of Roger Stone? No, it actually demonstrates, if anything, the opposite. But let me just address those horrific McCarthyite clips that you just played from Nancy Pelosi and Eric Swalwell claiming that Trump is controlled by the Kremlin, something that we heard throughout the 50s and 60s lodged against Democrats yes. with the same amount of, of evidence, which was none. In almost every important instance, including right now in Venezuela, giving arms to the Ukrainians who are opposed to the Russians, bombing the Russian client state in Syria, imposing incredibly harsh sanctions on Russian oligarchs, Trump has acted contrary to the interest of the Kremlin, the most important example of which is probably Trump's very vehement denunciations of the Germans for buying natural gas from Russia, one of their most important exports on which their economy depends, rather than buying it from the U.S. Really weird behavior for somebody who is being blackmailed by Vladimir Putin. He keeps doing exactly the opposite of what Putin wants. The Roger Stone uh, indictment is like all of the other Mueller indictments, and that is the number of people people that Mueller has indicted for what the original Mueller letter said he was supposed to find out, namely whether there was criminal coordination between the Trump campaign on the one hand and Russian government on the other hand with respect to the 2016 election, that number is zero. That was the number before Roger Stone's indictment. That continues to be the number after. It's not an investigation that's complete, but it's been it's coming up on two years. It's like a year and eight months. I don't know what the future holds. Maybe Mueller will someday indict people for that. So maybe he'll cure cancer. But as a journalist, all I can do is say what has happened up until this point. And up until this point, there have been zero indictments on that core question. So very quick, why would, if the Mueller people send dozens of armed agents to the house of an unarmed middle-aged man to do something that could have been done through lawyers, why does nobody in the press say, wait a second, that seems overkill? I mean, the CNN was not only not objecting, they were super excited by it. They sent one of their correspondents who has connections with her, I think even worked for the FBI, to cover it like it was the OJ chase. And I think that this has been one of the problems is the press has completely given up its adversarial role when it comes to questioning prosecutorial power, what the CIA does, what the FBI does. Robert Mueller is almost like this godlike figure. And as long as you do abuses to people they don't like, like Roger Stone, they'll sit and cheer. Yeah, I think you're exact. I think you're exactly right. We should push back, and I hope that I have enough integrity to push back when the next prosecutor does it to someone I don't like. I really do. Glenn Greenwald, thank you very much.